Kenya is set to host its first ever modern and contemporary art auction this week amid a surge in global interest in African art. The retrospective to be held on the 5th of November will span the best work produced by artists from across East Africa over the last 40 plus years. Fiona Fox, the co-founder and director of Circle Art, joins us on the line now for more. Fiona, thank you so much for making the time. Uh, why are we seeing such an increased appetite for African art? Um, I think there are many reasons for that. Um, one of the reasons is probably emerging markets more generally. Um, as a rule, I think the art market quite often follows financial trends and there's a lot of um, economic interest in Africa. Um, I think there's also a lot of very interesting work that's coming out of the continent, which has been for a while, but there are more art structures in place, there are more galleries that are emerging that are able to promote that art and to kind of put it onto the next level. Of course, in, you know, when one thinks of African art, you, all, you almost always uh, think of uh, informal markets and, uh, and flea markets. How have you uh, come to this idea that, uh, of a more formalized approach uh, to, to, to trading in art in Africa? Well, we thought that it's particularly in the context that we are in in East Africa, there was a need to really orientate our audience um, because of the, the fact that the market is quite informal. It's actually quite hard to access artwork and to find artists and to orientate yourself around. And so we decided to start an art consultancy that could help interested um, buyers and potential buyers um, start buying art and start engaging with the art scene here. Um, so the auction that we're holding uh, tomorrow is just one of the things that we're doing. Um, we're also advising individuals and corporations on buying art. And, and we sort of hold uh, two exhibitions a year in pop-up spaces around the city. So it's just a way of trying to bring exciting things um, onto the scene here that will engage a new audience. Of course, uh, given the, the, the very nascent uh, nature of the industry in East Africa right now, this might be a difficult question to answer, but how big do you think uh, the contemporary art market could be in East Africa? I think it has the potential to grow very quickly, and we've seen that in other parts of the world. Um, you know, there, there is a lot of new buildings going up. There's a lot of, per, you know, as in private buildings, also corporations, and all those, all those people are starting to realize that outside of the continent, there's a lot of interest. There's a lot of international buyers coming in. And I think that our mission certainly is to get a domestic market mm. um, established here. And so I think it has the potential to grow very quickly and, and it to become something quite, quite interesting very soon. Of course, uh, taking into consideration both domestic and international art lovers that are likely to come through to the auction, what, what are your expectations in terms of revenue that you're likely to pull from this uh, inaugural auction? Um, well, we, our target from the beginning is to, is to sell 60% of the works in the auction. And I think just gauging from the interest we've had so far, we'll probably exceed that, which is very encouraging. It's really hard to, to predict because this is the first time that we've done something like this, what will actually happen on the night. But we, we're feeling quite encouraged that it will be a good reception. And, and as much as anything, it's the first one. And if it is successful, we'll be doing this every year. And so it will grow year on year. Are there artists uh, that are at the top of the list that uh, you think art lovers should be looking out for? Uh, it's difficult to pick out because we think they're all very, very interesting. I think Peterson Kamwati um, is, is, is definitely breaking out onto the international scene quite considerably. He's had two exhibitions this year, one in Sweden, one in Miami, um, and he's certainly someone to watch. Um, what we've also tried to do in the auction is pick out some of the older generation of artists who were doing very well in the 80s, but then when the gallery system fell away a little bit here, they, they kind of got lost and sort of came off the radar. So we're trying to showcase some of those artists. It'll be very interesting to see how they're received. Of course, uh, if we look at uh, contemporary art uh, markets in other parts of Africa, such as West or South Africa, uh, it, it, it clearly takes quite a lot in terms of getting the, the, the market and the industry up and running. From where you, from where you sit, where do you, what do you think it's going to take to ensure that the market grows uh, and meets the expectations that you have? Well, I think we, we certainly as a company made a very conscious decision that we wanted to do something commercial because there are, there are non-profit spaces around the city that are doing fantastic work in, in grassroots and workshops and sending, sending artists on residencies and developing their work in that way. But our, our aim is to really develop the, the domestic market and to do something commercial because we believe that once that exists, then the artwork becomes more interesting, there's more freedom for artists to create more interesting and experimental, um, experimental work. 
So, uh, yeah, I think that it, it, there's a potential for huge growth here. I think that that's something that we're going to see over the next 10 years. And, you know, the, the, the audience is here. It's just a way of presenting your work and to, in a way, kind of educating the audience um, to what's, what's going on under, you know, beneath their noses, which quite often they haven't really been aware of because there hasn't been the structures and the promotion to really bring it to the surface. Fiona, thank you so much for that. And, of course, uh, wishing you the very best of luck with that Thank inaugural uh, art auction happening in